Create a new object layer in Tiled. Make sure that it's purplish pinkish and not the blue tile layer. We're going to call this new layer Ground and create some rectangles for the ground portions of our tiled map. Using the Rectangular Select tool that is available only on the object layer, start boxing out the obstacles that you have on the ground. You can adjust the size and position of the rectangle with the Object Select tool. Continue with the process until you have all the ground objects blocked out for our skateboarder game. Once you have the objects selected, you can also click on the Objects tab next to the Layers tab on the right pane of the tool to see the individual objects and just confirm that everything is set up nicely. Once everything looks good, save the map into the Assets slash Tiles folder of the main Flutter Flame project. Recall that in our previous step, we only displayed the ground tiles and we did not have any collision detection working. The collision system terminology changed in Flutter Flame 1.1, which was released, I think, sometime in April. And also, the Flame Tiled object group was changed in Flame Tiled 1.4, which I believe was also recently released, I think, in April. I believe that prior to Flame Tiled 1.4, this Get Object Group from Lair was um, the one to use. But I believe this is now deprecated according to the documentation, and we should use Get Layers. As this method is new to me, Get Layer, I'm just going to double check to make sure that I do have the ground layer. I noticed that the Flame team does capitalize the name of the layer, and maybe I'll do that going forward. But right there on line 73, I, I do have the, the name of the layer is ground right now with a lowercase g. So I'm going to stick with that. It may differ on your system. And we have to use these angle brackets and specify that it is an object group. And this object group is actually in the tiled package, not flame tiled. To get it to work, we're going to have to import the tiled package. Go up to the top, and in this case, I had to manually import it since it wasn't coming up with control dot. It's tiled slash tile dot dart. Now the red squiggly line has gone away. The obstacle group is a list of tiled objects that we can iterate through. So on line 29, we're going to use a for loop. So for object OBJ in the obstacle group, the objects, we're going to iterate through it. Just as a test, we'll see if that object, which should be one of these rectangles that we applied in the tiled map editor, whether it has an X coordinate. So this is just a test at this point. The test is working out fantastic. In the next video, we're going to add hitboxes to both the ground and the girl to detect a collision and then stop her downward progress. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.